Assalamualaikum and good day. This time around, we will be solving an equation on series solutions near regular singular point. So, given to us, the DE is 2x y double prime plus in bracket 1 plus x y prime minus 2y to 0. It is a regular singular point when x is equal to 0. That means at origin. We need to show that the initial roots are 0 and 1 over 2, which means this is case 1. Okay. And the recurrent relation is given by this one. And lastly, we need to solve the first three non-zero terms in each of the two linearly independent solutions. So, for the first one. Okay. We want to prove that R is equal to 0 and 1 over 2. So, we will be using this formula. R, R minus 1 plus A, R plus B equal to 0. This is a quick method for us to find the initial roots. So, A is equal to limit X minus 0 because our X naught is equal to 0. Here should be X minus X naught. And then here would be Qx over px. Okay, 1 plus x over 2x. Simplifying and solve it, we have a equal to half. And then the next thing is b. b is equal to limit x minus 0, power of 2, x approaches 0. And here, the function should be rx over px. Simplifying and substitu substituting the value 0, we have b equal to 0. Next, substitute those values that we have obtained, a and b in the formula, we have r squared minus r plus 1 over 2r plus 0 equal to 0. Solving this, we have r1 equal to 0 and r2 equal to 1 over 2. Remember that r1 should be less than r2. Okay, and here we have proven that our initial root for this question is 0 and half. So, for the next question, we need to prove the recurrent formula. So, since x equal to 0 is a regular singular point, we will be using Frobenius method, which means our y would be summation n equal to 0 to infinity, a of n, x power of n plus r. Okay, see the difference is in the power. Okay, so right now y prime is differentiate y with respect to x. We have summation n equal to 0 to infinity, n plus r, a of n, x power of n plus r minus 1. And y prime would be, y double prime is summation n equal to 0 to infinity, n plus r, n plus r minus 1. A of n, x power of n plus r minus 2. Next, substitute y, y prime and y double prime in the given de. Okay, so here would be 2x, y double prime plus 1 plus x, y prime minus 2, y equal to 0. As usual, expand the equation. So we have this de, okay, this equation. 2 summation n equal to 0 to infinity. Take note that there is a change in the power because the reason is here. x multiply with x power of n plus r minus 2 is x power of n plus r minus 1. And here you need to expand 1 times this term and then x times this term again. So, we will have this one. The, the power changes here because x times x power of n plus r minus 1 is x power of n plus r. And for the last term, there will be no changes. Okay. And then, next, we shift the index where we equate to the smallest power. The smallest power would be x power of n plus r minus 1. The first, we, we don't have to change anything in the first term, second term, but we need to change the power in the third and the fourth term. 
where it will be summation n equal to 1 to infinity n plus r minus 1 a of n minus 1 x power of n plus r minus 1. We, mind, uh, we need to add minus 1 to every n. That means here would be n minus 1. Here would be n plus r minus 1. There is this changes in the starting value for the summation because n minus 1 equal to 0. So we will have n equal to 1. And for the last term, the same goes here. We need to minus 1 for every n. So it will be n plus r minus 1, n minus 1, 2. And then here it changed from 0 to 1. Okay, next, the initial equation. This is actually an option for you to do or not. The reason is because we have proven earlier that the initial roots are r, e r equal to 0 and half. This is optional or should I say alternative way alternative method to show initial roots is 0 and half. The next thing will be uh, finding the recurrent relation when n is greater than or equal to 1. So here we have 2n plus r n plus r minus 1 a n plus n plus r a n n plus r minus 1 a n minus 1 minus 2 a n minus 1 equal to 0 and next factorize for a n and also factorize for a n minus 1 simplifying you will have a n equal to 3 minus n plus r over n plus r times in bracket 2 n plus 2 r minus 1 a of n minus 1 so hence we have here shown what's needed okay the last question c solving this to the nearly independent solution so here we have for r equal to 0 substitute substituting n r equal to 0 in this recurrent relation earlier here okay in this recurrent relation we will have a n equal to 3 minus n over n 2 n minus 1 a of n minus 1. So therefore, substituting n equal to 1, we have a 1 equal to 3 minus 1 over 1. 2 times 1 is 1. Uh, 2 times 1 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. So we have 2 a not. And when n equal to 2, we have a2 equal to 3 minus 2 over 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 minus 1, a of 1. And then for a of 1, we need to substitute 2 a0. And hence, we have a2 equal to 1 over 3, a0. So take note that the, power, the series solution is y equal to summation n equal to 0 to infinity, a of n, x power of n plus are expanding the summation we will have this equation and then factorizing x power of r we have y equal to x power of r in bracket a0 plus a1x plus a2x squared plus until infinity so next substitute r equal to 0 in y we will have y1 so y1 equal to x power of 0 a0 plus 2a0 here is actually a1, substitute. Okay, and here would be a2 is 1 over 3, a0. X power of 0 is equal to 1. So, factorize a0. We have y1 equal to a0 in bracket 1 plus 2x plus 1 over 3x squared plus until infinity. The next step would be for r equal to half. We have a new recurrent relation. That would be a of n is equal to 5 over 2 minus n over n plus half in bracket 2n plus 1 minus 1 of a n minus 1. This recurrent relation can be simplified into this equation. Okay, that means as you can see here, we factorize 1 over 2 and 1 over 2, this one can be cancelled out. Okay, and hence we have a of n for r equal to half is 5 minus 2n over 2n plus 1 times 2n of a n minus 1. 
let's say if you don't want to simplify the recurrent relation, you can just use this one. That means your a n will be 5 over 2 minus n over n plus half 2n a n minus 1. You can use either this equation or this equation. Okay, so when n equal to 1, we have a1 equal to 5 minus 2 over 2 plus 1 times 2 a naught. Simplifying, we have 1 over 2 a naught. Don't worry, if, even if you use this equation, you will have the same answer. So when n equal to 2, the same goes here, substitute n equal to 2, we have 5 minus 4 because 2 times 2 is 4 over 4 plus 1 times 4, where a, uh, a1, substitute a1 with 1 over 2 a0, we have a2 equal to 1 over 40 a0. Okay, lastly, y2 is when y, when we substitute the value of r equal to half. Okay, here y2 is equal to y when r equal to half. Substituting r equal to half, we have the equation x power of half. In open the bracket, a0 plus half a0. This one is actually a1. This one is a2. And then factor, factorizing a0, we have y2 equal to x power of half a0. Open the bracket, 1 plus 1 over 2x plus 1 over 40x squared plus until infinity. Okay, that's all for this example. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.